Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling one of the biggest milestones in your medical journey, the USMLE Step 1. This exam often feels like an insurmountable hurdle, a true test of your dedication and knowledge. But I'm here to tell you that it is absolutely conquerable. With the right approach, a solid strategy, and the best resources, you can not only pass but excel. This video is all about empowering you to do just that. We'll dive deep into how to effectively study the most crucial resources you need and practical advice to navigate this challenging period. My goal is to share insights that I wish I had known earlier, helping you streamline your preparation. First, let's demystify the USMLE Step 1 itself. Its primary purpose is to assess your understanding of basic science principles. It ensures you have a foundational grasp of the subjects essential for safe and effective patient care. The exam doesn't just test rote memorization. It challenges you to apply these principles to clinical scenarios. You'll encounter questions that require critical thinking and the ability to connect basic science to real-world patient presentations. Structurally, it's a long and demanding examination, typically lasting eight hours. It's broken down into seven 60-minute blocks, each containing a set number of questions, usually around 40. The scope of step one is incredibly vast, covering virtually every basic science discipline you've encountered in your preclinical years. From anatomy and physiology to pharmacology and pathology, it's all fair game. To succeed, familiarizing yourself with key aspects of the exam is paramount. Understanding the overall exam format will reduce anxiety on test day. Knowing what to expect helps you manage your time and energy effectively. You also need to be familiar with the various question types you'll encounter. Step 1 questions often present clinical vignettes, requiring you to identify the underlying basic science concept or mechanism. Furthermore, it's crucial to know the specific topics covered within each subject area. This detailed understanding allows you to prioritize your study efforts and ensure comprehensive coverage. Finally, pay close attention to the exam blueprint, which outlines the percentage of questions allocated to each subject. This blueprint is your strategic guide, highlighting high-yield areas where you should focus more of your energy. Now let's talk about how to actually study for this beast. One of the most critical pieces of advice is to start early and maintain consistent study habits. This is not an exam you can cram for effectively. Avoid the temptation to cram everything into the last few weeks or months. The sheer volume of information makes this approach incredibly inefficient and stressful. Instead, integrate step one preparation throughout your medical school curriculum. Ideally, you should begin studying for step one early in medical school, perhaps even during your first year. This allows you to build a strong foundation gradually, rather than trying to learn everything from scratch during dedicated study time. Consistent, focused study over a long period is far more effective than intense sporadic bursts. Think of it as a marathon, not a sprint. Steady progress wins the race. Next, embrace active recall techniques. These methods are scientifically proven to be more effective than passive review. They force your brain to retrieve information, strengthening neural pathways. Utilize flashcards extensively, especially digital ones like Anki. Anki, with its powerful spaced repetition algorithm, is a game changer for memorizing high yield facts and concepts. Spaced repetition is key here. It schedules reviews of material at increasing intervals, ensuring you revisit information just as you're about to forget it. This optimizes retention and makes your study time incredibly efficient. Another highly effective active recall technique is to teach the material to others. Explaining a concept out loud to a classmate, a study group, or even just to yourself solidifies your understanding and reveals gaps in your knowledge. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, do as many practice questions as possible. This is not just for testing your knowledge. It's a primary learning tool. Practice questions are essential for solidifying knowledge and understanding how concepts are tested. They help you identify your strengths and weaknesses, refine your test-taking strategies, and become comfortable with the exam's format and question style. The more questions you do, the better prepared you'll be. 
Let's discuss the indispensable resources that will be your best friends during this journey. If you find this information helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more medical school tips. First up, UWorld. This is widely considered the gold standard for practice questions. Its question bank is unparalleled in quality and relevance to the actual step one exam. UWorld questions are known for closely resembling the style, difficulty, and clinical focus of the real exam. Doing these questions is the closest you'll get to simulating the actual test experience. Beyond the questions themselves, UWorld offers thorough and invaluable explanations for both correct and incorrect answers. These explanations are often mini lectures, teaching you the underlying concepts in detail. My strong recommendation is to do UWorld questions early and often. Don't save them all for your dedicated study period integrate them into your regular study schedule from the beginning. Next, we have AMBOSS. This is another excellent resource with a vast question bank that complements UWorld beautifully. Many students use both for comprehensive preparation. AMBOSS also offers detailed explanations and a comprehensive medical library integrated directly into its platform. This means you can instantly look up concepts related to a question without leaving the interface. It's particularly helpful for understanding underlying mechanisms and complex concepts. AMBOSS often delves deeper into the why behind medical facts, which can be crucial for conceptual understanding. Then there's First Aid for the USMLE Step 1. This book is often considered the Bible for Step 1 preparation. It's a must-have for every student. First Aid provides a concise summary of high-yield information across all Step 1 subjects. It's packed with mnemonics, tables, and diagrams that help condense vast amounts of material. Use First Aid as a primary study guide and a supplement to your other resources. It's excellent for quick reviews, identifying high-yield facts, and consolidating information from various sources. Finally, don't overlook NBME self-assessments. These are crucial practice exams that simulate the real Step 1 experience. They are developed by the same organization that creates the actual exam. Use NBME self-assessments to gauge your progress and identify areas for improvement. They provide a predictive score and highlight your weak subjects, allowing you to adjust your study plan accordingly. Beyond the resources, some overarching advice can make a huge difference. What's your favorite study resource so far? Let me know in the comments below. First, create a realistic study schedule. This exam demands careful planning and organization. Don't just wing it. Have a clear roadmap for your dedicated study period. Plan effectively by breaking down the vast material into manageable chunks. Assign specific topics or question blocks to each day or week, ensuring you cover everything systematically. Prioritize your weaknesses. It's natural to gravitate towards subjects you enjoy or find easy, but step one will test your entire knowledge base. Identify your weak areas early on. Dedicate extra study time to those challenging topics. Use practice questions to pinpoint where you struggle and then focus your review on those specific concepts. Crucially, take breaks and prioritize your well-being. Step one is a marathon, not a sprint and burnout is a real threat. You cannot perform your best if you are exhausted. Ensure you get adequate sleep and maintain healthy eating habits. These basic needs are often neglected during intense study periods, but are fundamental for cognitive function and overall health. Regularly take breaks to avoid burnout. Step away from your books, engage in hobbies, exercise, or spend time with loved ones. These breaks are not a luxury. They are essential for sustained performance. Finally, stay positive and believe in yourself. This is a challenging journey, and there will be moments of doubt and frustration. Acknowledge these feelings, but don't let them derail you. Maintain a positive attitude and remind yourself of your capabilities. You've made it this far in medical school, which is an incredible achievement in itself. Believe in your ability to succeed. Your hard work and dedication will pay off. Trust the process, trust your preparation, and trust yourself. The USMLE Step 1 is undoubtedly a challenging exam, but it is absolutely achievable with the right preparation and mindset. 
It's a test of endurance, knowledge, and resilience. Stay focused on your goals, remain consistent in your efforts, and most importantly, believe in yourself. You have the intelligence and the drive to conquer this exam. Thank you for watching. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your classmates, and subscribe for more content. Good luck with your studies, and I'll see you in the next video.